Hello and welcome to the Petterscope. I'm your host, Steve Pedersen, and it is Magnificent Monday. Thank you for joining me. Great to see you guys live here on the Petterscope. We are talking about, of course, keys to being the difference. Thank you for the love. I appreciate that. This is episode 61 entitled Sense of Self. Thanks for joining me. You are making a difference in the world because you are the difference. And your sense of self or your self-concept or your self-image has everything to do with the kind and quality of the difference that you are making in the world. Your sense of self has to do with, of course, your perception of yourself. And as with any perception, this can be skewed one way or another at any given moment, depending on the lens that you're looking at things through, depending on what kind of information that you have. For example, I'm wearing something a little bit different today for the Petterscope. If this is your first time joining me, you might think, oh, what is this guy, a doctor or something? He looks kind of official. He's got glasses on and he's wearing a suit coat and these kinds of things. <laughs> and uh, But it's a little contradictory because I got all these guitars in the background. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, feeling good. And the thing is, what I've noticed is that how you dress actually affects how you view yourself, what you think about yourself. Whenever you're kind of dressed in scrubs or dressed in your jammies, you kind of feel like, you know, kind of laid back. You feel a little different than, say, for example, when you're wearing a nice suit. So the point is that thing, our perception of our self changes based on various things. But there's a whole bunch of things that make up who we are. There's things like our occupation, our social relationships, our family relationships, our quasi-occupations. So for example, if you are a volunteer part-time, uh, an avocation that you have, you're an athlete or a musician or striving for something, uh, affiliations that you're a part of, uh, if you're a Shriner or a baseball fan or something, uh, your abyss uh, abyssities, abilities or disabilities uh, make up who you are. Uh, uh, salient attributes such as uh, if you're reliable, if you're hardworking, if you're good looking, if you're lazy, if you're honest, dishonest, these kinds of things, your spirituality. There's a whole myriad of things that make up who you are. Now that list, incidentally, was taken from the projectlearnnet.org website, and I'll have that link. Um, I'll have that link on the uh, on my website a little bit later if you want to check that out, uh, along with the entire list. New things, yes. It's, uh, it's good to remember that there's many things that make up who we are because oftentimes our sense of self can sometimes be based on our mistakes. Uh, especially, I know, for example, for myself, uh, religious background that I've had, oftentimes I kind of think, oh, my mistakes, they really cloud uh, my vision of who I am. And our mistakes often, yeah, our mistakes often carry heavy emotional implications with them that can cloud our view of who we are. Uh, sometimes it clouds our view so much that that's all we see. And so we start thinking very negative thoughts about ourselves. Oh, I'm such a loser. I'm s such an idiot. These kinds of things. Um, you know, my daughters, yeah, baggage, exactly. That was a word I was thinking of earlier as well. They carry a lot of baggage. Um, my daughters have um, uh, their own business cards, and they carry around their business cards with them. One of them is the Doctor of Awesomeness, 
and the other is, uh, I think it's either the doctor or the captain of coolness. <laughs> and I think that's such a great thing for their uh, self-image um, to help them uh, see who they are. We can realize, we have an opportunity to just realize, first of all, our own sense of self and that in others, especially if you're in a role where you oversee uh, children or youth uh, at any level, anyone that's developing at any level, uh, being aware of your self-concept, your sense of self, the more you're aware of your sense of self, the more you see that in other people and how other people are aware of their sense of self. This, of course, is the key. I mean, we're talking about keys, right? An action, an action that you can take today is to take a look at this list. I'll have, like I said, I'll have it on my website later. Um, uh, these list of about nine different things that make up who we are. Think about who you are in light of that criteria. And also just be aware of your self-talk. What is it that you're saying about yourself in your mind? What are the thoughts that are going through your mind? Is it positive and constructive or is it negative and destructive. Guys, thanks so much for joining me here on the Patterscope. This has been Keys to Being the Dippest. Uh, dippest. Oh my gosh. Keys to Being the Difference. Thanks for the love. Thanks, guys, so much for joining me. Uh, this episode, along with all of the others, you are welcome, uh, can be found on my website. That's stevepetterson.com. I uh, appreciate you guys being with me, sharing your thoughts, sharing the love. Can't wait to bring you more keys to being the difference. Take care for now.